lovelies so we are back again with another video and i've got this gorgeous silky oh it's given butter it's given scalp it's given everything so this unit is from asteria hair so if you'd like to see how i style it and install it keep on watching so jumping straight into this video that's the packaging as usual and in the packaging you get lashes wig cap and an extra elastic band edge brush and a satin dust bag for your wig and a melt band as well that says asteria hair on it so this is the unit i'll be working with today this is their 13 by 4 hd lace frontal unit and this is 24 inches, 200% density, and it is body wave as well. Like this hair was so soft, it felt like butter, like literally. And it was giving length, it was giving density, literally. So that's the construction. You get a full 13 by 4, which is absolutely amazing. And with the combs, you get two on the sides, one at the bottom, and your irregular elastic straps. So to go ahead to install this unit, I start off by cleaning um, my hairline with a skin protector as usual. So I'm just showing you guys the wig again. I have already gone ahead to apply my wig, wig tint, you know, my um, lace tint. And basically, this is how it's looking very much giving my skin like it's growing out of my scalp so just basically running my hands through it having a feel of the hair before i start installing like a stereo hair always 10 out of 10 every single unit i've actually worked with from them has been amazing and this is no exception um so before i get ahead of myself let's Talk you guys through how i install this unit which is my normal um regular regular way of installing and i just go in with my cuticle scissors to cut off at the ear tabs this is a size a small um cap as well by the way guys but it was still quite big on my head so i'm not sure what happened there or if they ha made a mistake with the sizing but the plastic bag that it normally comes in it did say it was a cap size small but it was still a bit big but we made it work so as, as usual i go in to section the lace as i enjoy or i love installing my units in sections it just ensures that i do it properly and yeah so i went in with my gel from ebon and then top it up with the spray melting spray from ebon as well then i'm going in with my dyson air wrap tool to just make sure the product is tacky and a bit dry and then i go in with my rat tail comb and press down the lace so i do this process for all of the hairline so i'll let you guys watch that bit and i'll be back <laughs>
once everything is stuck down i go in with the melt band provided by the company i leave that on for about i'll say 10 minutes and then i go in with my cuticle scissors to cut off the excess lace that i do not need that like guys they're hd lace definitely be hding um it melted really well i was super excited and i'm quite glad that it basically melted even though i know it's hd but yeah <laughs> um so i'm going in with my melt spray melting spray from ebon um just to make sure that the lace melts even more so i'm going basically applying it at the edge at the edge of my rat tail comb and then just pressing the product in to the lace and then using my dyson air wrap just to kind of like speed up the process the drying process and look at that lace guys you can't tell me this doesn't look like my hair like as usual they always a stereo hair always delivers when it comes to the their the quality of their wigs and their lace as well so i go ahead to just cut off the excess lace all over the hairline and then go in with my melting spray so that's everything it melted i'm just basically showing you guys how well this melted and how a bomb it looks like look at that absolutely amazing like this is usually my favorite part just seeing how the lace just melts into your skin so your girl actually over bleached this unit it was definitely over bleached but i mean it happens so oh, well so <laughs> i'll go ahead and correct that um later on but for now i'm just going in with my um hot comb i used a bit of the Kara Kara rack stick onto the parting and then i'm gonna go in to basically further flatten out the top so i basically sectioned out um the lace sorry the wig and yeah just basically just um flatten out the top to make sure it is given really you know seamless flat flat not you know just sitting on my head we don't want that so yeah so that's basically what i'm doing And I also made sure to be careful to use the um, wax stick because you don't want to use too much. So I only used the certain parts and certain parts I didn't. So to kind of like get rid of that, you know, that over bleached bit um, or just to conceal it, I used my mascara as usual. That's literally just a quick fix. I used the mascara to um, basically conceal it and then I went on top with my concealer that's basically just the shade lighter and it is looking much better already so heading into baby hairs I mean you can't you cannot not do baby hairs um actually you can that's a lie you can go without doing a doing baby hairs with this to be honest but I just really wanted baby hairs and you know me i normally go for something in the middle i never do too much with my baby hairs and sometimes i feel like i want to go light sometimes i feel like i want to go just bang on in the middle so i feel like this is bang on in the middle it's not too much and yeah so i go in with two on the temples and two on the sideburns just my usual ones and i went in with the um pencil straighteners first and then swooped it with my edge brush and got to be spray and that's pretty much it for the baby hairs
so I went on to add some mousse onto the top of the wig just to make sure it is extra flat as you can see this is looking so good like come on it's like I go back in with my melt band and the Dyson uh, wrap tool so I'm just getting rid of any um any tangles or anything like that just to make sure also that the hair is kind of semi straight so that helps i'm basically blow drying it but with a comb or with a brush rather if it makes sense so the yeah so it's easier to straighten does that even make sense yeah <laughs> it makes sense while seeing it in my head um but yeah so i'm just going ahead just brushing out any um kinks or anything like that so then i'm gonna go into straighten this unit first so i decided to straighten it out because i wanted a very sleek look and basically just curl at the bottom so yeah so i decided to straighten it out i went in with my ghd straighteners the platinum plus straighteners absolutely love these straighteners they work like magic absolutely love it and you know the best part it doesn't burn your hair like you don't get that odd oddly you know burnt smell oh absolutely love that so i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten it out as usual using my denim clamp brush thingy and yeah look at this guys look at the sheen this is just gliding through like butter literally um yeah nothing new just straightening really so let me stop talking <laughs> we're done straightening look at this guys look at this hair oh my god now just going in with my paddle brush from ghd and just working the straighteners in just to make sure it is very straight look at that oh my god guys this unit is absolutely stunning lord this install is fire <laughs> um so i'm gonna go in with the ghd straighteners to just further um, curl it at the end, basically. I actually later on went in with my curling um, wand because I felt like the, I didn't do it properly. So I'm still learning when it comes to straight curling with straighteners, that's it. <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless, it came out really good. Um, I just need to practice a bit more with the straighteners and Hopefully next time I will have mastered it. So I went in to, I would have mastered it, that's it. So I went in to add some layers, just slight ones, nothing too much. Um, I didn't really want to cut too much of the hair. This was 24, but it was given 26. But as usual, you know, your girl's short, so that could be it but look at this guys oh my goodness when i tell you like this unit was so easy to install i didn't get any issues with it definitely a 10 out of 10 from me love every bit of it look at how silky and sleek this looks like i am definitely here for it um as usual a stereo hair never fails when it comes to well they've never failed me should i say when it comes to their units so this is how it's looking after i got my makeup done and just changed into something real cute and yeah guys so that's pretty much it for the install and styling of this video like what you all think 
I am absolutely obsessed. This is absolutely gorgeous. So I'll make sure to leave all the specs and details down below in the description box. So make sure to check it out. And thanks to Asteria Hair for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for clicking on and hanging out with me today. So if you did find this video helpful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below and also subscribe and hit that notification bell just so you get notified whenever I make an upload. And that is all from me today. I will catch you in my next one. Bye. Satisfying you and I keep leaving